Hello friends, it's Monica, also known as Sleeved After 60, and I am here with my week seven update since having had VSG. Um, and uh, it's May 2nd, 2017, um, and I am coming to you with my quick stats. Um, everything is down underneath, you know, below. But um, I got a lot to talk about, so that's why I have to be fast. Today's weight was 177.4, which is a loss of 1.2 pounds from last week. And um, first of all, you know, I, I, I always talk about, I will talk about what I'm wearing in a minute. Um, I always talk about um, how the scale, um, how to be so careful about the scale and why I only weigh in once a week because um, when I was in, in treatment, in eating disorder treatment, um, that, you know, there was so much talk and in, in in, in mentioning about even the fact that there's some, some research out there of how, you know, as you lose weight, um, your, your brain, how your brain functions and how you get sort of, um, um, you get um, addicted to that weight loss and how you feel and all of that and why I do it all one time. So here, here's a perfect example. So I was all happy because when I read 177.4, I thought I had lost a lot of weight because I think that I probably thought it was 174.7 because, you know, a little, that's aging. Um, but when I actually did the math, and I found out that it was only 1.2 pounds. I was kind of disappointed. I wasn't disappointed because, of course, it's great. I lost 1.2 pounds. But because somehow I thought it was like 4 or 5 pounds. So there you go. I'm the perfect example to the craziness that is numbers game. Right? Because all of a sudden when I did the math and I thought, oh, wait a minute. 1.2 pounds? Wow, you know, okay, so why am I wearing this? This is an ode to um, to Liz, um, Finding Elizabeth, which if you don't follow her, you should. Um, and she does YouTubes and she's been around for like three years. She's wonderful and she always wears things off her shoulders, which made me. And she invited me to be, um, I think it's this Sunday or next Sunday, she invited me to be on The Naked Truth. And no, you don't get to be naked on the naked truth. But anyway, you know, just the fact that it was, it was, it's, she asked me and it, it just, I was just kind of sitting on the couch with my honey, you know, I was reading the news online and then she asked me if I would do it. I have to admit that I was a little, um, I don't know, I was kind of like, who's going to turn in? So please, it's on Sunday. Um, and I don't know what time it is because I know that Central, it's at eight. I usually put a, an alarm on, but I will most certainly, you know, I'm sure that she's going to advertise it and I will too. Um, I just noticed mm, 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 that I haven't done, I didn't put any makeup on, I just put a little, um, and I should have done something that matched my, my nails, but anyway. So we're all friends here. I don't have any makeup on and actually, you know, I didn't do much about my hair either, but, and, and please don't comment. It's fine. I know I'm fine and, and don't worry about it. I'm totally fine with how I look today. So, um, first of all, I have my energy back, as you can see, and my hunger is back. So, um, I'm trying to figure out still, you know, like what what's appropriate, what's, what's you know, like how much do I need. Um, oh boy, now I don't remember his name, Tiger. Uh, Tiger Jim Tiger um, I should know his name but you know he um, he sent me a, a great um, e he sent me a comment today about just trying different things because of the not knowing when um, when I'm full and what it feels like because I'm still getting used to it and I tried different things I tried um, uh, Chela, who is um, uh, foodie turned sleepy, um, she suggested that instead of doing little um, uh, 
instead of doing small food and small plates and all that, which I was doing, to just do a regular size um, serving, regular regular serving, whatever that means, and a regular plate, and sort of eat until you're done, and then and then leave it, which is really kind of how I learned, um, relearned to eat in treatment that. You know, you just, when you're done, you're done, and then you throw things out. You don't do, you know, uh, doggy bags and all that other stuff because usually it just leads to overeating, and it's difficult for um, a lot of us to throw food away. And so what we say is we just eat it, you know, because, because it's there instead of, um, and we don't have issues about, you know, dumping food in. We just have issues about throwing the food away. Um, which is a really interesting concept. So, um, but uh, what he suggested that I haven't done that I think is one of my huge issues is that I think I'm eating too fast. Um, what I want to say also about the fact that I've been here so long, you know, I started doing, I started online at the end of May, which I'll probably do something um, about having, you know, started the process in the end of May with my doctor, the actual, you know, when, when we, when actually by, um, uh, bariatric surgery was brought up, I think was my appointment on 527, but I had started seeing my doctor, um, April 1st. But, um, what, what, um, what, what, the thing about eating fast, and, um, I think that, that that's a legitimate, um, issue and what I was going to say about having been around so long is that you know I thought I had a lot of information and there's a different it's kind of like you know when when I had my baby I had just finished graduate school so here you know I had just finished you know my master's degree in clinical psychology and I had all this child development behind me and I thought I knew it all and then the baby comes they leave you alone and I remember just crying um, and that, you know, because there were so many things that I just didn't know about my baby, although I knew a lot about child development. And when I called um, the pediatric line one time, the nurse just said, Mrs., you know, my last name, Mrs. Monica, um, she said, you know, your child doesn't know that you have a, a master's degree. So I had done all this, you know, research for, that's what I was getting at, about a year. I had been doing all this research. I had watched so many of you and you can know, you know, secondhand and you can do all this research, but when you get home with your own, you know, baby belly, with your own stomach, it's a whole different thing, isn't it? And that's where I am. So what he suggests is just waiting like 30 seconds between bites because I noticed that just uh, after I read that this morning, I noticed that I do, that even though I use this little spoon, even though, you know, I have, because my doctor, as you know, um, chose not to, he, their belief is not to tell you exactly what to, in the dietitian too, not to tell you how many ounces that you need to figure that out. So um, I'm still trying to figure it out. But I think that that's my next thing is about eating slower and how do you do that, you know, because, you know, you put the fork down and all that other stuff. But almost like I think I may, in the beginning, I may have to actually count until I get there. So that's the other thing. Um, Gastric Tiger, that's his name, Gastric Tiger. I had written it down, the 30 seconds. Thank you, Gastric Tiger. Um, I've seen him before in The Naked Truth, which I'm going to be on in Sunday. Um, I'm still not exercising, and, um, you know, we just had snow yesterday. Uh, we're in the Twin Cities. Today it's lovely, so it's going to get nicer, and I'll be able to start walking. Um, I want to talk about something in particular today, and that's about self-talk because I know that I, I talk about this all the time. And, um, you know, um, if anybody's interested about a specific, doing a, an actual video about what, what specifically I learned in the book and treatment, please let me know. And if you're, you know, there are enough people who are, who are um, interested, I'll, you know, I'll do something. I sent the book to several people and um, I will, do that again. Um, the thing about self-talk that I learned in um, when I went to treatment is that self-talk is kind of the cornerstone of eating disorders, right? You do all this, and I'm anybody who you know who has an eating disorder and who's been on that um, eating, not eating, dieting, 
purging, um, and by purging, I don't mean necessarily vomiting, but whether it was exercise or just, you know, limitations so that, you know, you're not eating and then you're overeating and then you do whatever it is, um, uh, dieting, you know, uh, starvation, you know, limitation and, and all of that. If you've ever done that, you know that a lot of times what we do, whether it be to binge, um, usually to binge, it's sort of to quiet that talk. And, you know, when it's like, eat it, don't eat it, go ahead, eat it, don't eat it. And you finally, you go, I give up. Let me just eat it and get it over with. And then I can start, you know, fresh. Um, and so when I talk about that, I talk a lot about, you know, be careful how you talk to yourself. Kindness and grace, being kind to yourself, being generous uh, with, with, your, with yourself. So it's not what you say to yourself, but it's the specifics. And I was thinking about that today when I went outside and I had put my patio together because, of course, you know, Minneapolis, the Twin Cities, it's cold and we all look forward to that, to, to being in the warmth. And I was thinking about, because I was thinking about walking, starting to walk when it gets nicer, and I was thinking about how, how I, I talk to myself about the patio. I would never say... You know, uh, it's time to put the patio. Why can't I get it together that I put, you know, I'm, I'm talking about putting your pillows out and planters and all that stuff. That's what I'm talking about when you put it together. Sort of your outside furniture, right? And, um, and you know, I wouldn't say, well, gee, you know, my neighbors are getting it together. Why can't I? And, you know, I used to have a nice patio. Now I don't. I don't. I start out with this whole idea of this terrific feeling of, oh, my um, I love coming out in the patio. I love having, and I even said that I had, you know, I had a couple of, of house guests the last week, two sets, and, um, and I was talking about how lovely it is. One lives in California, one set, and the other set um, lives in the winter, lives in, in, um, in Florida. These are my sisters and, and the brother-in-law. And so they're used to, to being able to be outside in the warmth. And I was talking about how I love to sit outside with my coffee in the morning and I read the New York Times online in my patio. So it's all about the doing the patio is about how happy it makes me or how good it is for me or how lovely it's going to be. It's not about I must, I should, why don't I, you know, um, I'm not going to be okay if I don't. It's all about this. So the work is about making my life better. And my husband, tomorrow, tomorrow, has no interest in it. Couldn't care less. That, that's not something that interests him. Yes, he'll come outside, he'll enjoy it. He doesn't see it as look at what bloomed. You know, he couldn't care less. I mean, he comes to sit because I go out there. So that's what I mean. If you think about it in whether what, what you're eating, what you're doing, if you think about it in a way of this is good for me, even, you know, taking my vitamins, eh, but I know that I'll feel better. It's the same thing about making food choices or about exercising. Oh, gee, when I exercise, I feel better. No, I should. I need to. Now I'm going to do it harder. And if I don't, you know, or my body doesn't look the same way, it's kind of like, oh, it's just a whole different way because your brain is listening to your words just like your little kids do. And that's how it reacts. You know, it's listening to this, this kind of way that you talk to yourself. And that all the other stuff that doesn't happen when you don't do what you want to do, what you need to do, let's say. If you just take that information, it's just information. Just like the scale gives you information, right? If your body isn't as taut as it used to be, that's just information. Not good or bad, it just is. So I know you know how I feel about the time. It goes by so quickly. Um, so make it, about, um, make it about being positive. And I will see you next week. I am going to do um, who, who has inspired me. And I'll see you all on Sunday. Besos. Ciao.